Alright, so what you are seeing right now are the phones I got over the past 7 years or so. So, yeah, I'm going to do a video of my update cell phone collection videos. So, let's get started. I have a bunch of, I've categorized all the phones, my brands, and let's see, yeah. I have lots of Nokia. Yeah, many of the Nokias. On the second row, I have Samsung, LG, Motorola, Blackberry, Siemens, and a master phone, two iPhones, two HTC, FPT, Movistar. These are Viettel phones that are branded for Viettel, Viettel Wireless, um, Mobile, um, Sony Ericsson and Sony phones, a um, V smart mobile V smartphone, a V smartphone, a Huawei phone, Nine phone, and a very small L8 star phone. So, without further ado, let's get started with the Nokia side first. So, starting with, let's start with the oldest Nokia I have in my collection. This is the this Nokia. This is the Nokia sixty two ten. I do not have the correct charger for this one and the only charger I have when plug in it did not think so I'm not sure what's about that but I need to get a good charger for this one uh, so yeah I need to get the original charger because uh, I don't have the original charger for many of these Nokia's I only have one for the smaller tips and this is a speaker tip here is the legendary 3310 um, I don't have the battery or back cover for it but I have plugged in a Smaller battery and it does show sign of light when plugging in, so it should be good to go. And I got these on the um, I got these in the flea market. This one's yeah, I got this one, these two from flea market. This one is from my uncle. This is a uh, and I had to take the battery out, it was bloated. This is a Nokia 6610. This one is brick, it's a contact service, so it's bad. Here is another bad, another kind of bad find for I got this one in the free market as well. Someone say this is one of the weakest model in the Nokia series, but I'm not sure if that's correct or not. It is the 2650, and when I plug in the when I put the battery in, it would also only be flashing, I think. It's very unstable. It's had the same problem with the 6610 as well. So I'm gonna guessing this one had a had a hardware issue where it's brick and probably contact space because the LCD is broken, so I cannot really um really um confirm that. But hey, now we are moving on to the kind of like the more modern S640 phones. Here is another phone I got in the flea market. This is a, um, a Nokia very... Uh, 6110. This one, as far as I know, it did not... Um, it, it does show sign of life when it got it. But I'm not sure why it wouldn't turn on right now. But when it turned on, it will only show a white screen. And both of the screens suffered the same problem, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. I guess I will. Yeah, this one's also unstable. It used it's actually sometimes it will turn on and show the white screen, and that's it. It's not a hardware problem. It I was able to turn this one off. And I'm not sure if this one is even the lock or not because when I put the SIM card in, then sometimes it turn on, but nothing really show. So, so and the sound doesn't really play. So I'm not sure if this one has any password or not. But hey, this one's kind of cool to have, and I think the hinge is broken slightly. And let's and now it's on to some of the very cool phones that I have. Zoom again. Here is a um, the Li. What people in Vietnamese call this one a Li. This is a um, Nokia 
it is the um come on the 7260 series and i do have the battery for it it's it's in uh where's the battery it's in this fpd right here i'm just charging it because i don't have the correct charger and when i plug in the charger it wouldn't charge this BL5B battery, I was only able to charge it using the LPT for some reason. It had mini USB. So, this one, it turns on, it works, but the keypad was moving. So, um, I have this um, Viettel card right here. So, I will plug it in and just hope uh, it won't snap. I want to Yeah, this one had a um, broken speaker and the key doesn't work except for this one, this one, and probably some other, but I couldn't reconfirm. And it's, yeah, I need to get a new um, keyboard and probably the speaker and the keypad is not really functioning. I'm actually going to take the card out to use in the other phones. Come on, how do you get this sound? Hold on, let me uh, take this. All right, so uh, I have put the SIM card out of my of this phone, so uh, so I'm going to move on to the next one, which is a little bit similar to this one, but it is uh, kind of similar. I got this one with trade with Tap Tap Ping. I trade a dead 2310 with two phones, and this is one that is the the 6020, and I do have the SIM card for it. Then there's another bunch of Viettel SIM card. There is a phone with a Vina phone SIM card. I could really have access to that now. now. And one of the Viettel SIM cards I got from Tap Tap King as well. You see, it works just fine. There we go. It's all for some reason. This one, the speaker does work, uh, but I'm not sure why it is off right now. Probably because it's quiet. Um, but hey, um, it works. Okay, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna use this battery on all of them, so I'm gonna. Add, uh, so here is this one. I got this one from one of my um, grandpa's um sisters in law, brother in law. It's in really rough condition. Uh, it's one of the things she's really missing. I'm actually surprised that this one actually functions. This is the uh, sixty one hundred one. I was able to um, do something with it. Uh, yeah, this is this is the one take the four B battery. And this one unfortunately had a bad backpack, so I can't really see anything. Not sure why, but I think the hinge problem may have caused the backlight to stop working. Um, but Oh well, I might get a new um, housing for this one and this will be happy to go. There we go. And then, yeah, I actually got this one quite recently. And now, and now the next one, which is my best find in all my years of collecting phones. This is a Nokia 66680. It is a prototype. I will show you. You know, see, it is a prototype. The camera doesn't work, unfortunately, and it was actually a very um, um, kind of really close to the six 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 eighty um, phone in the final release. It doesn't have Vietnamese because I don't know why, but it works just fine. I got the this one from the first flea market find. It was actually the best find 
I was. It was actually um I got this one along with uh, I believe some other phones too. While we're waiting that for turn on, let's turn to these two things right here. These are the Nokia 6030. We got both these two in different location. Yeah, that thing is turned on. I'm gonna let that sit a while. But these are the 6030. Um, I got these two on different occasions. This one I got in 2016 from my uncle, and this one is from someone my dad worked with. This one does work. I don't know if you have a SIM card or not. On this one, yeah, it did. The battery actually is surprisingly worked. I was able to charge this battery using another phone. And I was able to put some Toho sound on it uh, with the help of Tata King. Thanks to him again. So, yeah, this one is fully functional. And yeah, I actually kind of like this one. It's in very mean condition. This other one, it turns on, but the backlight is broken. So, I cannot really do anything with it. I'm actually going to took the SIM card for this one. I actually did a, some skit with this one. Um, the 6276. 7260 came with this Viettel SIM card. No, Vina phone SIM card. This can even focus. There we go. It is a Vina phone SIM. So, yeah. And let's move on to these are the phones that I'm actually really wanted in my collection. First of all, this is the um, Nokia 7260. Um, this is a phone that my dad actually used when he was um, working. And here's another one that he used, the very cute and the very one that he used. And that, the, he used the 3310 and then this one and then the N73, which I couldn't find in the sea bucket. I found the N72, but it did not work. I only put one of the Viettel SIM card in and this one actually has a screen problem. Very weird one. Uh, like the backlight was kind of actually kind of um, broken. It doesn't really um, function well. Oh well, I guess uh, the power one of this one's gone. Oh, never mind. Is it dead right now? Oh yeah, there we go. The power one is missing at this one. Yeah, so it needs a new screen, but I'm gonna let it um, in this condition so to see if um, adding the see if um, the phone will eventually show some pixel on this one. Because it will only show when it's done booting up for five minutes. Here's another one I actually wanted. This is a um, I'm not sure if this battery works or not. Um, 1110i, and it works totally fine with no problems. Actually, I'm going to take the battery for this one because uh, the 6030 battery is actually kind of blown it. battery died? No. I actually kind of won one of this for quite, for quite a while. And S3 I believe is a Malaysian or Indonesian phone but it had Vietnamese. And I guess this one, this battery is actually kind of weak. Again, when I plug in the charger, it's saying not charging, so I'm not sure what's up with that. But and the SIM card reader is kind of this this Vina phone SIM card is very really, um unstable. So <clears throat> there we go, the eleven ten eleven ten i. I also got this in the flea market. Same with the sixty thirty i. Here is a Nokia very. Cool Cool looking Nokia slider. This is the only, actually the only slider I have for Nokia. 
6111, this one, um, it had a bad ribbon cable and I cannot determine if the board works or not because first of all, the power is on, on this side of the hinge and I think the hinge is broken. And this one, I don't have the BL4B battery because, um, yeah, I don't have the BL4B battery. I actually borrowed one from Tap Tap King and it wouldn't do anything, so, yeah. And then it came to the 272 um, series, these are the fashion model. Actually, 72 I already shown. Here is the um, the 7360. I got this in the free market as well. So yeah, the bush batteries all use. Um, it's a BF5B. And the screen is one's white, but all the while it works and it was able to read the same card. Which is a good sign. Yeah, that's that's going to be it. You will, will know about this one, but I will try to um, fix the screen a little because I saw some phone that use the same type of screen as this one. And this one, this is oh my god, this is one of the best um, find other than that um, scroll type right here. This is the Nokia 7370. I got this one also on the flea market. So, yeah, I do not have a BL4B battery for this one or 5CT, so I'm going to use this guy right here. I, got, I pulled this one out of my Nokia X1. It's kind of hard to turn this one, one on using this way. Power on the side. Speaker, this one's broken as well. But that is the only problem with this one. So, and it can not read the SIM card. There's some a bunch of lines, but it didn't really affect how the phone use. I actually kind of like this one. Uh, it's actually the only swivel phone I have. I've seen two more swivel phones, um, but they did not work. They are Samsung. They're kind of something like the Samsung Joe, except for the Disney model. So, yeah. And here is what appeared to be the. Um, Slim down version of the 7360. This is I actually used to have one of these, but it had a passcode, so I smashed it. The 706070. I do have a SIM card plugged in because I was transferring some Toho song into some other phones. I got this one with a trade with Tap Tap as well. So yeah, it works. It reads SIM card. It did everything fine. Yeah, and I do have a 6080, but it had a passcode, so I smashed that. I'm gonna take the same card because that is not because I actually kind of need some of the phone. Some of the phone need to install some of the Toho song because why? Uh, and I got these two 26 26 phone. This one from one of my um, family. These two from from. Different family members. This one had a housing at one of his tap tap thing because I swapped one of the housing. Um, yeah, I want to turn on one of them. They both turn on this fine. This battery is trash. Turns on. This is actually one of the really earlier phone from Nokia that you can turn on without a SIM card. So I think there's a really cool neat touch. It's in a really poor condition actually. And then you know what? I'm actually going to show this one on it as well. It needs, whoa, these new series cleaning. I got these for quite a while now. I actually have another one of these, but it broke because it is um, it had a passcode and I was really wasn't really able to do much thing with it other than just um, so um, I pulled the blue um, keypad on it and put and give it to Tap Tap King because he need a new housing for one of his phone and this is from uh, his old twenty six twenty six. I actually been looking for the 2610, so I might probably um if I was able to sell some of the phone, I would have sold some of the duplicates.
All right, so now we are moving on to the new world of Nokia's. Starting with this is the Nokia 6300. I actually wanted one of these for a while. Why I got this one from a family member? No, someone my dad worked with. This is a Sapphire edition, so it's actually um a um, more higher end and it have a um, different Nokia tune than the original one. I had a bag for this. It works, but I had but I had not bought a charging here because the charging from this one is actually a mess up. And I was able to put some total sound on it, but not as much. So also this one, um, this one had a um, kind of step power one, but otherwise it just turned on. So yeah, I actually quite wanted a uh, the original um, firmware of this one because this is actually a um, newer model. And then here is the Nokia E fifty one. I do not have the battery for this one, but luckily I was able to use this battery right here. So this battery actually for an N seventy nine that you wish that is that's going to be shown right here, and it actually fit the N ninety five too. So if I had to get an N ninety five, we'll actually use going to use this battery, and it worked just fine. I was able to um, put turbo sound on it. And it is a very um, S60 phone. I actually been looking for the EC32 instead of this one because I used to have one. It's kind of offset for some reason. All right. All right. So that's all. I should be looking for one of this um, battery. I think these battery will work, work on a 6500 series phone. And I've been looking for that, but on the last few market, the only one that works in now is the Chinese one. Here is my only Express Music phone from Nokia. This is the 5320D. And this one, I was able to use the BL5B battery. So. Come on, there we go. This housing is kind of bad. So I saw a green one on sold on the flea market, but I didn't get it because it had contact service. Well, not really. It's a contact retailer, the which is a, a essentially contact service. But in um, it's kind of offset the Nokia logo. But in um, the um, S forty S sixty phones, and surprisingly enough, um. This one, when the first one they had a password, but it was literally just one, two, three, four, five, and yeah. I think this one actually a music phone, very because it's a express music phone, yeah. So yeah, now we are moving on to the business phone. This is the Nokia E seventy one. I got this from free market. That that one came from someone my dad worked with. And I had a battery install on this one, so I want to turn this one on. Um, while we wait on that, we have the uh, the only N series I have right now. This is the N seventy nine. I got this one from my family member as well. This one uses this battery, and yeah, I wanted to keep this battery. With this one because not all the phone use that. See the hands. I'm really happy to have this one in my collection um, because uh, apparently some of the N series are quite expensive, and I when I see you go to the flea market, they're usually um, the older version except for this newer version. There was a couple C five, but I was in, but it, they did not work, and some have broken um, flex. So yeah, I was re I did not put any toho on this one. I, I actually forgot about that. And this one, 
shut down. I want the camera to focus. Also, we have to put a lot of tools on this one. And now we move on to some of the newer and side of here. We still have one more E series, but first of all, let's go back to the basic. This is the Nokia 202. Got this one from another family member. And yeah, yeah, it's from a family member. Oh, this is this ba this battery is there, so I have to put it back to the 62, 60, and 30. This one right here. Um, where's my other? No. Yeah, it is. The back leg, this one's broken, so not much to say about this one other than being the slightly um, new version of the, the 1110i. So, yeah, not much to say about this one. Next one, the 1661. This one I got from another family member, and it was actually when I first got it, it had a passcode, but it was literally just 123456. So, yeah, took a while to figure that out. Is the battery even charged? It is on, um, let's see, um, it says Sprint PC, but I don't see any Sprint, um, I don't see any Sprint branding on this one, so it's actually just uh, someone just wrote that. But, oi, I got this one. It's kind of in poor condition, actually. And we move on to our last S60 devices. This is the um, Nokia E63. This is actually a cheap old, cheap old version of the that E71 right there. The camera is kind of. I had a battery for this one. I pulled this one out of my dad E53 that was just vibrating, so. This one had a bad speaker, unfortunately, so I can not really put any toe holes on this one. It worked just fine. It's kind of boot up slow, but hey, it works. It's actually very quite modern for Nokia. But this one has a bass speaker, so the ring doesn't sound. Actually, I'm going to need this battery for one of the other phones, the, chi the Chinese one. So here is the um, Nokia. I'm not sure if this battery works or not. Um, 2730C. So I'm going to put this one. You don't need to put a SIM card to even use it. So. And I actually used to have one of these, but uh, it did not turn on, so I br I smashed that, and I actually got this one in the first free market. It was actually brand new; it was never used. Surprisingly, I got this one for free cheap for two dollars, I believe. Oh, the USB cable fell out. This, this is not the same one that I got when I was young, but yeah, this was the very, this was alongside with the X201 right there, was the very original phone that I owned in my collection. This battery just works, does have some use in it, so I'm going to use that battery. There's some line across the screen for some reason. Yeah, my this is actually the first one I got was to my brother's old phone. He had he um well at the other time I had a Lumia 530 and I was able to get this one. This was this was his first phone, but this is not the same one because I smashed like three or four of them because they are, all have problems. 
And this one is the one I got in the first flea market. It was, it was actually surprisingly overpriced. Because uh, I had to pay $5 for this one and a lot of the phone on that flea market. Just, um, I just, um, let's see. I forgot how much. Probably two, three, four, two or three dollars each. Moving on, here's Nokia 12 1800. I have another one of it, but it broke, so as that, that had been removed from my collection. And I'm not sure why this battery wor doesn't work. This one's in very mean condition. I'm not sure why that battery did not work. It's kind of unstable with this one. Here we go. The battery's contact doesn't really um, work that great. It's an interesting. Sim. You know why I only use another battery? I know this one does work and the really seems quite just fine. There we go. I have one of these, but it has bad back, like, and it has a passcode. So, yeah. There's this one. There are actually um a couple more of these phones that need a SIM card, so I want to put this down. Man, we have like more. We have probably uh, many more minutes now. Probably have to um, edit this video um, because this one's getting running out of space. And I got that one from someone my dad worked with. Here's a free market find the C101. The battery actually does charge when I first got when I got it. I got this one for probably three dollars or so. Yeah, sorry, I without a SIM card. And here's a slightly elder broad. So the elder, uh, so the newer one. This is the um, this battery work. I'm not sure if that charged though. C2, um, the C201. This battery charge? Nope. I got this one from family members. Family member. Yeah, I forgot to put some of the battery back in, so I will put it back whenever I can. But hey, it works. They actually have faith with Facebook, which I'm actually quite surprised. There we go. I want to put the battery back on the 2730. And, oh boy, we made it to the X201. This is my dad's old phone. I'm actually using it as my main camera before I got the that Canon. Unfortunately, this one had a bad screen, and when I, when I was able, wasn't really um, able to find a good part for it because all the X1, X201 in the flea market, they all have broken LCD, which is even worse than this one. And one of them, they don't even turn on, and that thing had one. And I'm actually been looking for one that had a contact service, so yeah, nothing much to say about this one other than I need a screen for it. Here is the flea, uh, flea market find. Here's the flea market find. This is the um, the Nokia X1. And this one actually is the S3 phone, so you need a SIM card. And this battery actually came from the X, this S1 as well. So. Something has bothered me that these tiny battery will only will only work for when I, from first when I, when I was young I thought these battery are only for the uh, mobile Nokia like the um, 
the twin the Lumia or the Ashen series, but I'm actually quite surprised that it actually worked on this one. It is a dual theme song and so yeah. Okay, so I want to Yeah, it's actually um let's see uh, how many phone do it need sim card. Um only one only one or two, so yeah, only one need need a sim card for this video, so I will turn that later on. And then here is a not the flea market find. This is the um, Nokia the for you battery, I'm not sure if this for you battery works. Um, yeah, I've been charged for hours and it just it just doesn't really hold that much. The 206. So I want to use the 5J battery to power it on. This is a um, the newest S40 phone that I have. How many battery? I have um, 69. I actually have two more Nokia phones. Yeah, this one's quite modern and yeah. Nothing much to say about this one actually lying across the screen. And we are moving on to the last Nokia's. It's been like twenty um 30 or so minutes this is a um, Nokia 105 I got this one in flea market I used to have two of these but they don't both broken one has white screen and the other one yeah I brick it yeah not much to say about this Nokia although it's one of the very basic model and this is the 2030 model. I'm not going to get the HDMI model because I don't like MediaTek, um, non Vietnamese MediaTek phone. And oh boy, now we are getting to this one. This is my first ever cell phone I use as my daily driver. I'm not sure this is very working out. Um, the Microsoft Marvel 106. Was actually a Microsoft model, so it's quite modern. I got this one back in twenty fifteen, brand new. Is the battery even fit? No. Insta Sam, in Vietnamese. And. When I first got it, it came with a um, Viettel SIM, but I don't use Viettel, so I threw the SIM card away. Why the hell did you say um, insert SIM? SIM's already installed. There we go. It's booting up. It's say technical problem for a split second, which has, which has never happened before on my phone, so... Yeah, all the nostalgia value of this one. So, um, we are basically um, done with the Nokia. I'm not going to turn this one on. This is the Lumia 530. It's my brother's whole phone. Uh, it's boot loop. It's brick. And the touch ring will definitely be broken. So now, we are moving down to the other um, companies. Starting with Samsung. Let's see how much many minutes on I have. I have like 60 minutes. So first of all, this is a Samsung slider SDH um, D410. Yeah, I do not have the charger for this one, so I cannot test this one. But it is a very cool looking Samsung phone. It's a very old one too. It is yeah. I'm actually looking for D500 and the x160 because that's my mom's first phone this is a samsung star this is a non-wi-fi version so it was released earlier now i'm not going to turn this one on this one does not have a battery and the battery was bad when it plug in the charger um when i plug in the charger it's does not do anything because the battery because yeah it does not have a battery but i borrowed one of the samsung bags from Samsung king and it does indeed turn on 
I got this one from a um, flea market. This is a Samsung which is on the top screen. S3100. I, and I, I actually used to have another Samsung slider phone, but it was um, a bit um, newer than this one, and that thing broke in pieces. Still had a picture of the baby for some reason. Oh, yeah, cool looking tiny key. This is the only AK battery that actually works, so I want to use the battery on other phones. I'm not going to turn this one on. This was a um, Samsung GT E1080 T. It's on track phone and this piece of crap did not turn on at all. I break that one, I think. This is. Um, does this one even have any. Uh, Samsung GT C3212? Uh, that was out of focus, so I'm going to do that again. This one, I pulled the barrier out of the, that dead thing right there. This one's actually reset. I got it. Here's the Samsung Genoa. How the touching in this one does not work, and I don't have the original battery for this one, so I have to pull this one against contact to make it turn on. Huh. The screen sometimes just shows the backlight for some reason. I'm not sure how that happened. Man, I have like um 30 minutes, 30, 30 minutes, there we go. Now the screen works. But this one, how the touching does not work. You see why? Only the top part of the touching works, so it's kind of useless. Come on, shut up. There we go. Four tries. Okay, so that is. Uh, we also have a Samsung, the white um, GT, um, it will show on startup. This is not a larger battery for this one, it will, uh, E1050. I had a black one somewhere in my room, uh, I kind of lost that, but yeah, it works just fine, it's just a basic Samsung phone. Here is... Let's start with the Galaxy series. I have a bunch of these, but this is unfortunately the only one that works. The other one is the camp you what you are what I'm recording right now, the A12. This is the Samsung Galaxy um the Trend Plus. And I got it from a family member. With the exception of this one and this one and the Samsung Star, the rest of these Samsung came from D Market. Then the Got this one from another family member, the Galaxy Free uh, Note Free Nail. It had a bad screen, but it, otherwise it does turn on. Actually, I have to use these two mixed up for some reason. Here's uh, my mom's old Galaxy um, Grand Prime. It, it works, but it's missing a screen, so I need to buy one. And this is this one, it's just a display piece now. It's not a Grand Prime, but this one is basically a display piece because it is brick. I break it for some reason. Here's a core prime, and it's break as well. Two um Galaxy J one oh J three, they um they are both um break. And this one does not show any show any sign of life. This one actually can be sad when I got it. I 
boy, I have a 10 minute nap, you know, I can do this fast. And then, the A5, this one is Google Lock, and it's actually barely a 3 span, so I'll have to lock up or turn it in. And the amulet is there too. Perfect. Okay, now I have 5 LG phones. First of all, cannot show this one working right now. This is an LG HD 156. I do not have the HD SIM card and I do not have the charger for this one. But I was able to um, get it to power on only to show the low battery shutdown sign. It is on a HD model which is a really rare network in Vietnam. So which means that phone is really rare. Here's a flea market point, the KP100 LG. This one requires a SIM card to turn it on and this one is a 2009 phone, I guess. I don't have a battery for this one. Someone, um, uh, this one actually kind of surprised because someone actually um, managed to. Um, um, sorry, I'm on focus. Someone managed to take the charging port out of this one. Yeah, it's a Samsung Neon. I'm not sure this battery. Will, I'm not sure if it has, it has charge or not, but I know it works. Nope. I had a shot for this one. I will do it right here. Let's see uh, where's the charger that's going to be one years. Um uh, no. Where is it anyway? This one, this one, this one. There we go. I was able to turn it on. Why that that is turning on? I'm going to use. You show this one first. This this is basically a display piece right now. This is an LG um, thin pieces, many parts. And LG C100. It's basically a um, parts phone for now. So. Um, because when I turn it on, it had problem with the keypad where other than the power button, it, the rest did not do anything. And I don't have a battery for this one, so I'm not bothered turning this one on. But it's not about every new LG. As you can see, this one is working. So I'm going to turn this one on. Let's choose Vietnamese. Another one from a family member. Same with that one. Okay, so that's done. So I will shut this one down. Here's an LG um, Autism uh, Me. I'm not sure this one will have charge or not. Nope. Yeah, it didn't. It did not have any um, juice on it, but it works and every, and everything. But the screen is all inverted, so I'm gonna let it charge for a while. Yeah, let's go on to these two phones. These are two Motorola. I couldn't turn the, them on because they have problems. 
Here's a SawTac 130. Uh, my dad actually used this one. This was his first phone. And I do not have a charger for this one. I cannot test that. Here's a Motorola back clip. I think this is on AT&T. I look up the IMEL number and say, say so the AT&T logo. Um, but I couldn't get this one to work. I probably because the battery was bloated. I got two broken blackberries. Um, the 72, um, 7290. They only stay on the device arrow, which is brick. It's on the, uh, I believe, uh, European um, T-Mobile. Uh, here's a Vodafone 7100 in sorry condition. This one actually surprised me um, for most because it actually does appear to show sign of life, but I don't think um, it is really unstable. So, yeah, and you see it's a um, device error. Yeah, it's very unstable. Now the two Siemens right here, these two Siemens right here, the C45. I got this one from family member, these two from family member as well. This one, I don't have a battery for it, but I was able to get it to turn on. So, yeah. And the A75 from all the family member, I do not have the battery for this one. I couldn't really do anything with it, but it does show sign of life. And my phone's not getting around of space, so I'm going to do this one. I'm not actually going to do that, those last, because... Yeah, I don't do that one last, so I will, I will go ahead and delete some of the files. So, yeah. Okay, so it should be good to go. Um, I'm actually going to show the LED first because it was actually um charging. Mm, okay, so. Yeah, but it works just fine. It runs um, Android 2, I think. So, yeah. Oh boy, two iPhones. iPhone 4S, this one's brick. iPhone 5S, this is my my main day driver for a while, for many years before I got the, the A, um, A12. I don't have the original charger for this one anymore, but it, I mean, you can share for sure it still works. Two HTC, HTC, um, Hera 100, Hero. Flat broken flex cable, someone broke the LCD on it. HTC, um, Chacha 4G, it worked just fine, but I think the battery is going to be, um, there soon. Now on to the, kind of like a, the unbranded one. These are the Vietnamese uh, phones, um, and so yeah, these are Vietnamese brands. Let's start with free APT because I, I made it to one of the school that is from APT. Um, the APT V500, clone of the Nokia 6700, works. APT M99 Fuji clone of a uh, Blackberry Curve also works. I got this one from family member. A lot of two APT came from flea market. He has a uh, F 8700. Actually, gonna because um, I have small time left, so I will just pull the battery out. Oh yeah, I actually it's just shut this phone down for no reason. There's actually two power on this one, which is pretty cool. And this is a blue smartphone. This is on mobile phone. And the other two are unlocked. And now on to the free mobile cell phone. Starting up with this one, the F535. 
I do not have the barrier for it, but I was able to um, pull this barrier against contact and it turned on. Enjoy more. Yeah, that's all you need to see, but because I'm running out of time. Uh, Mobistar B2 um, B220 Media Tech, um, basic Media Tech phone. And Mobisar Light Junior. This one had a bad battery, but it does show sign of life. It was reset. So I will put this plug the same. And now we move on, on to the Viettel phone. This is actually a ZTE phone. Viettel V6202. This one had a white screen. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Viettel V6212, V6216, this is the one with a annoying low battery shutdown alert. And uh, V6217, um, another media tech phone. Had had old media tech crack. Yeah, that's all you need to know about this one. And we come to the only two spectrum phone, which is the both mobile, mobile rockstar. This one has the battery, it takes me in this piece, so I will put plug it in right now. And uh, hmm, I'm not sure, it's M269, I think. It works. And the passcode. Speaker is broken, not much to say. And I'm actually going to um, pause the video again to um, pull the files into the phones and put the file into the other space uh, so that I can have more space to record videos on. And we'll be right back. All right, so I switched the device to the SD card so it should have enough space to do the rest of the video. Well, you can see this is just a basic media tech phone. No, Spectrum is on Spectrum. Is, is this even charge? Yeah, we'll let that later because I'm having I'm using the um oh yeah this there we go that is turning on so I will let it charge for a while. Um yeah here are the Sony Ericsson and Sony phones. I'm starting with this one. This is a um what's more of this one? It's in poor position W eight hundred. Oh yeah, I need to use the SIM card for this one. I don't know, wonder where that SIM card is. It is in this LG. Also, wasn't really able to put Toho sound on this one because it didn't couldn't read the the MIDI file from the Nokia phones. Which it are. And yes, I am going to put Vietnamese on all my phones. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Um, this is actually the last one that we need to turn on. 
and oh boy here is my dad's old phone the sony xperia xa1 ultra it works but it is unstable some and here's my mom a um this one's kind of rare for some reason the a um xa1 plus it's turning on Here is a broken P smart um something something personal phone and it is I'm not sure what's wrong with this one. I haven't tested that that further. Here's a B smart um something something um B smart B yeah B smart B um this one's brick. Here's a Huawei um I'm not sure what Huawei this one, I don't have the ultra box of this one. But it is my mom's backup phone and it worked just fine. And I'm not I'm not bothered charging this one. I knew i6000 I believe. This one is brick. LA Star BM10. Does this one actually have charge? It's a hard battery. I have some extra battery for this one somewhere. There we go. It's a media tech phone. And last but not least, I got this on brand new box. This is the Master of Army um, 12. And the battery's dead. I had a charger and everything, so. I'm just gonna um, do something with it. Uh, this one is this one. The battery just quit on this one for some reason. This battery just quit. So I will charge this one up before. Not up. Charger. Um, yeah, on the bottom. I'm gonna turn the Rockstar on first. Is this one actually want to turn on? I've been charging for quite a while. There we go. Oh well. At least it worked just fine. And now let's turn to this um, mask tail because I got this one brand new in the box and it actually works. Think? Yeah. This one actually work, but I'm gonna have to um. Actually, you know what? To to not waste time for this video, I'm actually just going to do this. This battery doesn't fit in any other phone, so I want to use a um. This battery. I'm I'm going to get this one to my um grandma and swap it with his her old um master phone. This is bad. This you did. Are these contact connected together? No. Yeah, you very Oh, I just realized this one actually use the sound kind of similar battery to the FPT, so FPT to the rescue. It does not fit, but I mean, you can turn this on. on. There we go. Yeah, it works just fine. Nothing wrong with it. So, man, that was that was a lot of effort to do on a phone collection video. Uh, I have um, too many phones on. A, uh, I have too many phones uh, on this um, collection video. I will be getting more. I think I have about eighty or something. But hey, I got a bunch of really cool looking phone and some of the rare phones like the um the 66 like the 60 60 um, um that um prototype phone let's see how many phone they have i got five six seven eight nine ten eleven 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 Nokia phones. 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, uh, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 53, um, that is Samsung, 58, 60, uh, 62, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 73, 75, 78, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, and 88. So, nearly 90 phones in my collection. So, yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and peace out. Now, the reason why I did not show um, this one with the screen work because it's, it's freaking restricted. I don't know why. Man, it sucks, but the phone just works, so yeah, who cares about this one? <laughs>